Welcome back everyone, this is my Pixel 4a and the Beta 2 for Android 12 is out officially by Google. And a lot of interesting changes, a lot of things you might be familiar with as I have shown, but I will go through a few of them which I did not cover last time. And interesting news guys, material review is kind of seen in some aspects of the UI now, which was not present in the Beta 1. So I'm really excited to show you guys about this. Also, small bits which I might miss out in the video will be up on Twitter. So make sure to follow me on my Twitter handle over here so that you don't miss out even the smallest changes in Android 12 betas as they roll out. So with that, this is Shreyas and let's check out Android 12. Now, first of all, when you set up your phone, this is an animation which comes up. This is a new kind of an animation. I did not see it before, at least in Android 11 when I got the Pixel 4a. And this is the animation which comes up when you're setting up your phone initially. All right, so first of all, uh, this was seen even last time. Right now, the device is in light mode, but you can see how, because of the color, there is a green accent over here, which is coming up. And that's how material U is kind of translating into the UI in this mode. Now we are in and uh, this is my second page. I will show you some interesting features coming up. Yeah, so I'll go through the UI changes and the material U aspect of it at the end. So please stay tuned. First, I'll cover the important changes which have come in in terms of features which are really uh, nicely integrated into the Android system. Now, the first thing is this is a very ugly thing which they have done. I don't know if this, this is going to stick or not. But yeah, this is in light mode. That's why it looks like that. But when I turn on dark mode this looks a lot better and cohesive but either way you can see the colors coming up with the material view and it will keep changing i will show you as the video goes on another major change over here in terms of uh, ui is that you have the edit button and the settings button if you check out my last video which should pop up over here in a card about the beta one uh, the settings and the edit icon were the only buttons present here now we have the addition of the power button as well so when you press the power button now the power menu is way larger instead of coming up in the side small or on the top when it used to come in android 11 and that's accessible going along with the design theme you can see over here the brightness slider it's uh, quite thick and yeah i mean that's personal preference but anyway, getting into the settings menu, you again see the accent color carrying over in terms of color over here. Now the major change in addition, in my opinion, if you go into privacy over here is the privacy dashboard. Now this was missing in the last beta and you can see over here about what permissions were used by which apps and which other apps have access to it as well. So for example, if I go to my location, you can see that Google, Instagram, my camera app, my Google uh, app again, Instagram, home, etc. have used. Now there's a shortcut over here only you can see as manage permissions. If you hit this, you can directly go under the location permissions and see the list of apps which have access and you can tweak it from here and yeah this is the new feature over here which is use precise location this is something which is pretty useful i feel because a lot of apps do not use your uh, exact location like for example maybe uber and navigation might require your exact location to be identified but things like this and the google app etc for example let's go into the google app i will disable the precise location from the google app because even if it is giving me location specific things like the weather and all it if it surrounds a particular area and does not get the exact location of myself it's not going to make a difference so that's a new permission added but it's kind of here i wish it was a bit um you know in the system now moving on coming to permissions let's for example open the camera and yeah you can see the notification over here that the camera is being accessed and if i move to video mode you see the dot has shrinked and come up to the side over here now if I hit this, it should technically yes. Now you can see the microphone also being accessed and so is the camera. Now how the microphone looks, let me just show again. Let me go into the recorder app. 
all right so now am i recording over here and you can see the microphone coming up over here and yeah the, so it's very clear that the microphone is being accessed right now and that's a really good thing remember in google io how they showed the toggles for removing the microphone and camera access from the software level now that has finally come in and as you can see over here there are two tiles which help with the same over here if i scroll down you can see mic access and camera access so let me do it one by one let me block the camera access and let's go into the camera and you can see that the message is coming up with the gcam inbuilt into this which is google's own software it's unable to use the camera all right let's hit cancel let's for example go into the instagram app and swipe over to its inbuilt camera and you can see again it cannot access the camera and hence it's not even coming up here and again when i unlock you can see over here that this icon is coming up and it's hiding away so yeah awkward moment there anyway uh, same goes for the mic access now if i block both of them you can see that um, obviously camera is not coming up i can't record video as well so let me go into the recorder app and hit record and you can see that even the microphone is blocked over here so these are working and i'm happy to see that these have been included in this particular beta funny thing is the recording is actually going on and you can see that every second the recording is going on and i'm speaking as well you can hear me out but you cannot see any transcription coming in or anything like that i have put in my sim card and you can see over here this one was only wi-fi and now even my data connection has come up so when i hit internet it is coming up with LTE as well. So I can disable that, enable that, and also connect to the Wi-Fi. So internet will show all the possible internet settings and not just LTE or Wi-Fi. And that's a very nice feature, I believe, because before we had to go, either we had two toggles over here, if you remember correctly, or we had only one and for data, we had to go into deeper settings. But now this tab is internet and a neat card comes up over here to show the same. So let me just show it in light mode, how it looks. Yeah, and you can see over here how it looks over here. Again, it's a very simple toggle to enable and disable uh, mobile data and also to keep your Wi-Fi connected. If I cancel off the Wi-Fi over here, you can see it's still saved, but my LT is connected and I get the notification over here. This is a very handy feature. I really liked it. And uh, the implementation is actually pretty good. But if you go to internet again, you will see that your mobile data and your internet both are coming up over here like in the sense wi-fi and you can just if you have to go into mobile data related settings and yeah if you have to go into wi-fi specific settings you can go in from here another thing is obviously you have all right another thing i just noticed that when i went into notifications if i go into do not disturb and we had a game mode if you remember last time or maybe i posted on twitter again follow me on twitter if you aren't as of now let's see if the game mode is on off okay let's go okay yeah this is uh, not working anymore again it uh, is broken in this version you can again see the color accent coming over here and even in the toggles Another thing I really noticed is, let me just do a very few quick movements around the UI. It's become really, really smooth. And I really thought that I initially turned down the transitions, etc. But it is not the case. Now, another new thing is the conversation widgets. As you remember, last time the conversation widget was not really working and was broken. Um, but here it is kind of working now you can see i have three conversation widgets over here so as you can see that uh, this was a priority notification so i'll just dismiss it like that so anyway uh, you can see both of these are from telegram because of the logo over here but uh, when you keep this conversations widget at the smallest size you can only see a number and this particular logo over here under the profile picture so over here the name is not coming up unfortunately and i have 
all messages read from uh, this particular contact and from this contact there's a new message that's why this is coming up and over here the only problem is that when i'm trying to read it uh, bubbles is coming up thankfully bubbles is not causing a problem at all but since let's say this is not with bubbles enabled but when i hit it this is again broken now this could be because it's a third party app because this is from messages google messages their own app so when i hit it you can see over here that it's clearly opening google messages and yeah you can see the chat over here now let me again turn into dark mode the colors of the bubbles have changed again and if i open now google messages also opens in dark mode a few more things that i wanted to share is that the animation over here so when i long press on the home screen the dialog box over here opens in this kind of a motion if i show again once more in slow motion so yeah that's kind of neat now the ui changes and mostly material u now the first major ui change which i actually liked was the volume slider now you can see last time if you check out my last android 12 beta 1 video you will know that the volume slider was just straight up ugly that is not the case it's really um, way more elegant but clear as well and you can see the expansion of the profiles over here so that's something really nice not just that another thing i noticed is if i go into the bluetooth menu so uh, i have this pair of headphones you might have seen the review on my channel you can check it out anyway uh, previously it used to come with a generic blue uh, headphone logo but now you can see that my exact headphone picture is coming up in the bluetooth setting and that's something really nice not just that you have everything very nicely sorted out this was kind of there on pixel in android 11 as well but yeah it's a bit more nicer and you can see the color scheme again translating over here all right one more uh, change in terms of feature is that when you go into quick settings you have another settings for device controls so now when you long press uh, power button the device control used to come up including gpay which is not the case anymore so now you have a quick toggle for it so that's something nice another thing i would like to say is that if you don't like the size of this you can simply go into display and display size you can just reduce that not the font size just the display size and you can see that these buttons have shrunken down a lot more if you find that those were too big to you for your liking but unfortunately it won't fill up the screen it will still be limited into eight toggles only so that's something you have to keep in mind another thing is obviously when you turn off the always on display and makes this fancy animation which i really like the transition the clock turns into the color over here also you can see that the emergency call is uh, coinciding with the wallpaper over there now let me just quickly change the wallpaper now since it was green let's just go with some color which is very very different um okay let's take something like this over here also you can see the accent color turning over but now when i change it it'll just make everything fidgety for a while and yes you can see that the toggle colors have changed a lot again in light mode it changes again in dark mode again it changes a bit and now if i go into let's say settings and you can see this uh, bubble has changed in color so yeah you can see the theme has changed the toggles have changed in color the notification pane has changed even the background of this has changed in light mode and if i turn into dark mode also it kind of remains the same let's quickly change the wallpaper again to something which is a very different color let's say this one and let me set it for both home and lock screen a lot of things will suddenly change and uh, let's just toggle it yes you can see a slight difference in the accent color over here again and same when i go into the settings you will see the bubble has changed the color again over here let's go into bluetooth settings 
Over here you can again see the toggle colors have changed and the accent color in the writing over here has changed. So yeah that's kind of like material U. Now what is missing is the widgets. The widgets which we saw in Google I.O. are kind of missing. Like they still have the simple analog clock widget which is there from probably Android Lollipop if I remember correctly. But yeah, that's about it. Few more changes over here. If you can see the rounded edges over here for remove and setup and the colors around that, that is something interesting as well. So yeah, that's about it for the beta 2. There are some few minor changes, but a few good additions as well. And the major thing is that the implementation of material U is finally being seen. So thanks for watching guys. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next beta. And obviously I'll put out a final video when the stable version of Android 12 is out for my Pixel 4a. So that's been it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.